Well, Barbados is known as the 15th. We are the 15th world's case water country in the world. And that simply means that we cannot produce enough water to satisfy the demand. We are Yam House Farm and pretty much what we're doing here is we're growing specialty lettuce mixes. We need a lot of water in order to keep the temperatures cool, keep them moist and keep them able to produce enough so that we can get as many harvests on them as we need. The problem with most farmers is that they don't have access to private water. You know, there's this wide range of impact, you know, on the lives of the, of the people with, you know, not having adequate water. And also even, even the health risk, you know, um, the not being able to clean up and the sanitation. We have been battling with uh, what I would call the deleterious effects of climate change for some time. Whenever we have an emergency event, particularly a hurricane, tropical storm or otherwise, the risk for us increases tremendously. The main challenges now um, are related to basically the availability of water, um, failure of equipment too, and recently we've been ha having some challenges in terms of the reliability of our power supply to the, the company. solar power plant, that's going to do a huge job. People still need water. Water is a necessity, so the solar panel grid is going to be very, very, very efficient to pump in. It's going to help us a lot. With the installation of the solar, that will bring the electricity cost down. That money that will be saved will be invested in like new pipes, new electrical equipment, um, new equipment and uh, assistance in terms of the maintenance, having better maintenance procedures and that kind of stuff for that, um, for those facilities. We're looking at supporting um, significantly the installation of personal tanks. We're looking at how we can deal with rainwater harvesting techniques, both for farmers and for residential um, owners as well. Rainwater harvesting is a technique that I've experimented with. At the last farming project we were doing, and we managed to harvest in total 160,000 gallons of water um, within the time that we were working there. So I do think it is a possibility to, for farmers to be able to use it, it's a complementary solution.